I want you to understand to not buy in to the impossible. People will tell you that things are impossible. You will convince yourself that things are impossible. But I want to share with you the three things that I think that helped me make the impossible possible, that helped me get from that time where um, my dreams had been obliterated to this time where I get to stand in front of you and share with you what it's like to live and work in space. And so the first thing is, is something that we all know, but it's hard to accept. To make the impossible possible requires hard work. It's what we did in Apollo. It's what we did in Mercury. It's how we got people on the surface of the moon. It's how we launched the space shuttle. It's how we spend six months living and working in low Earth orbit. And it's how I got from the day that I got kicked out of the Air Force to this, this position, this hard work. Nobody told me to take night classes to, take, to prepare for the med school entrance exams. I was a casual status officer with no job. I could have just hung out at the pool um, and worked out, did the minimum amount of work in my Air Force job and called it a day. Nobody told me to, to apply to medical schools. No, no internet applications back then. This is filling out paper applications to 12 different medical schools and getting 11 rejection letters back, but one offer for an interview that, that worked out. Hard work. There's no substitute, and hard work will open doors for you to the point that even as you pursue your goal, that there are so many open doors that you may decide, you know what, that, that dream of mine is pretty cool, but I actually, this other opportunity seems really good. People have, we have invited folks to come to interview for the astronaut office because they have worked hard and proven themselves. And, and as they got that application, those opportunities had opened up to them that there was another opportunity that was more appealing. And they, they declined the invitation. Hard work. The second element is teamwork. That is how we got to the moon. It's how we get to space station. Um, and it's how you make the impossible possible. This achievement of becoming an astronaut and getting to fly in space is not an individual achievement. It is a, uh, a reflection of all of the people that have been a part of this journey. Teachers, mentors, family, friends, coaches, classmates, teammates, people sitting in this room like Mrs. Keim, my math teacher. And, Bri and Brian Hazard, my uh, wrestling uh, teammate and now um, multi-state uh, state winner um, coach here at Robinson. It's people like that that are walking alongside you and investing in you that make these things possible. We get to the space station not on our own. It is on the shoulders of um, flight controllers, trainers, engineers that make that possible. Making the impossible possible takes teamwork. And finally, kindness. It's a little crazy, but help people along the way. Kindness, true kindness is not a transactional thing. Hey, if I do something for you, nice for you, do something nice for me. It is the intentional looking out for other people, friends and family, and people that are not your friends. But if you're thinking about how you can make somebody's day better, how you can be an encouragement to them, you are being empathic. You're thinking outside of yourself. You're being unselfish. And um, I think it's Ronald Reagan that said that um, there's no limit to the good that you can do if you don't care who gets the credit. We actually, as a part of our ethos of living on space station, kindness is one of the two pillars of what we do up there. We describe self-care and team care. Self-care being getting yourself prepared, making sure that you're ready for the day, getting squared away and all your work done so that you can now look outward and see how you can help your team. Kindness. Hard work, teamwork, and kindness. Um, and, and those are the things that I feel that uh, have made the impossible possible in my life. I'm so grateful for Robinson and uh, the part that it played in this journey. It gave me a foundation, a launch pad for my dreams and set me on a trajectory 
um, that has come full circle so that I'm able to come back here and share with you all today. Thank you so much for being a part of that journey.